Skull Babylon reporting here in London, Ontario, Canada, once again for the March Against Monsanto. A collective opportunity for people with open hearts and open minds to come together, to gather as community and to collectively express their voice, to choose to be the change that they wish to see. So once again, people are gathering here for the fifth year in a row. Why do we have to keep doing this? Because let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. This is why we are here. Food is the cause and the solution to so many things within this world. And when you see people coming here together, they can be excited, they can make noise, they can connect this community, they can put the message out, they can put the ripple out to the world that gets noticed, that gets heard. People all across the world are gathering. Within London, we are just a microcosm of the macrocosm, and this is a part of our bigger shift in consciousness. It's about us waking up to our sovereign choices, to our ability to make a difference in this world, and to say this isn't only about us. This is about the future. This is about our children and our children's children. And that's why we're here. And that's why this message is important. And that's why it's important for you to hear this message, to share it further where you are. Why is this important to you? Because I know I have two boys right here, and I don't want them to eat this, this stuff that Montana's just putting into this stuff. This is dangerous, this is killing kids, killing everything. Bees, insects, everything. I hope it's gonna make a difference, it's gotta stop. There's gonna be nothing left for anybody. Why are you here today, dude? Because the Monsanto's putting GMOs in our food, and we need to stop it because it's hurting people. It's hurting the bees. Save the bees, man. Save the bees. Awesome, you rock, dude. <laughs> Can, uh, you know, corporate control of our food supply, which meaning our seeds. And I am against Monsanto as well as all of the other big boys of uh, Big Ag right now, Syngenta, Bear. Um, it's really important that we start really looking at our food security and that we really take the steps to protect that food security and the integrity nationally and locally and not give away our rights to international groups through uh, trade deals like TPP and uh, CEGA and FIPA, etc. It's all related, it's all scary, and we've all got to do something, what we can. Excuse me, ma'am, but do you believe that GMOs are utterly ridiculous? I think so. And this bovine growth hormone they're putting in the milk in the U.S. is a genetically modified product. What is your hope for the future? I would like to see a completely GM-free world. No GM. Anywhere. Healthy life. Now remember, when it comes to the way the universe works, it's not just about fighting what you hate, it's about promoting what you love. And that is what this is about. This is about promoting community, promoting smarter choices for ourselves, for our children, for everyone. GMOs have no spot on this earth, as I believe, as everybody else here believes. I believe clean food, no chemicals belong in this human body. That's what I believe. Yeah. There's a better way of doing things, and we've been lied to this entire time. And it's time for people to start opening up their eyes and their ears and actually take in some information instead of just believing what they what they read and hear in the, the papers and from our government. Rob, why are you here? I'm here because I'm protesting what Monsanto did to me. They made me a freak. I don't like being a freak, a freak of nature. I want to get them to stop using that Roundup stuff. Or put my, cut me out of my misery. Put that Roundup on me and get rid of me. I'm a freak. Burn me in the field. So many people who are still unaware of the fact that GMOs are even a real thing simply because the education hasn't taken place. Education is one of the first steps towards creating a better world. You figure out what is wrong with it, what needs to be changed, and then you find the courage to bring about the solutions and you find that through community, you find that through each other. Soil is the most important thing on the earth to continue life and the, the issue with the genetically modified uh, crops and things like that are the 
the amount of chemicals that are being poured onto our earth, destroying the ecology and, and taking away the building blocks for a biodiverse earth. We're, we're literally stripping the earth of the things it needs to provide us with the things that we need. So yes, this is part of a bigger story. And as you think, so shall you become. As we think, so shall we become. By telling this story, by getting the word out there, it's sending the message to consciousness, to the bigger us, that we are here, that we are willing to choose another, to choose another path, to choose a path of betterment, to choose a path of mindfulness, of consciousness, that we are here to open our eyes, to wake ourselves up. This is the 100 monkey effect. By us doing it here, everyone else begins to notice. Monsanto is a company that gave us PCBs, DDT, and Agent Orange. Now they are in charge of telling us that their own genetically modified foods are safe because the FDA doesn't require a single safety study. Monsanto is a multi-billion dollar corporation that holds a heavy control over the White House and U.S. Congress. So why are you here? Because I'm tired of Monsanto's lies. Our food that we're, we're consuming is full of pesticides and Roundup, and it's destroying our immune system. And we need to start eating proper food, and we need Monsanto to be stopped as soon as possible. Monsanto's actions are designed to maximize its corporate profits, not serve the people. Its entire seed and herbicide business model is designed to trap farmers in a system of economic dependence as we have seen in India. So one of the biggest things that I found out that Monsanto is doing all around the world, they go into different countries and they flood their markets with all their seeds. And also, if their seed cross-pollinates onto another farmer's land, they will sue them saying that that seed is now theirs and they're destroying farmers. The farmers all around the world are committing suicide because Monsanto is destroying all their livelihoods of growing their own food. When a corporation controls seeds, it controls life. There comes a point where enough is enough. Say no, GMO! So here we are down at Richmond and Dundas in London, and uh, of course bringing things to a halt, but doing it for a good reason. Sometimes you just got to be that extra code in the matrix in order for people to take notice, in order for them to be encouraged to ask questions. It's important, it's important to bring this message into the heart of Babylon because that's where the change needs to happen. It happens here and then it ripples outwards. Oh, genetically modified products. This is not something that is sustainable. We are destroying our earth. Your future generations will not be able to thrive if we continue these practices. Do you support this? Absolutely. Why is this important? Because I'm a farmer from Niagara. Oh, Absolutely. Cool. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So yes, this is about the bigger picture. This is about Gaia. This is about Mother Earth. This is about us standing up for her, standing up for all that she has given us and to show that we respect not only her, but respect ourselves. Do you guys support this? Yeah. Absolutely. Why, why is this important? Because we shouldn't mess with nature. We're poisoning our food. And and just like you started to say, exactly. The, the oh, shit they're putting into food is poisoning everybody, and it's just going to be long-term effects for us. And the, the, the generations to come. So, hey guys, have some uh, yes, magic. Please. Have some magic buttons. Thank oh, you. Awesome. I, they got, they got yes. I wear this on my purse every day. Oh really? Yes. So you've gotten it from somewhere else? I've We've met. We've talked at your little shop before. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so yeah, we have meetups every Friday. Open-minded discussion, meditation, Where? website. Check it out. Videos got info, but yeah. Any other message for all the uh, dreamers waking up out there? Uh, support local food. Support local farmers. Make sure that you're putting good things into your body. Awesome, awesome, cool. All right, you guys rock. Right. Peace out, guys. Hey. So yes, the great question is beyond this, how do we make a difference? How does this continue? It continues through the choices that you make by supporting local food, by supporting farmers, by making the conscious choice to not simply buy what the corporations are feeding you. Oftentimes they are providing you food because it makes them money, because it has chemicals that will addict you to them. So instead, find the willpower and the strength of community and know 
through your own experience the difference that healthy food makes, not only within your life, but the lives of those around you by allowing you to become more conscious and more empowered individual, capable of being leaders and change makers and paradigm shifters where you are. Now remember, whether there's 20 people, whether there's 100, whether there's 1,000, we have to remember that this is being done for the people who aren't necessarily here today, for the people who, who are inspired by this message. There are thousands of people out there, farmers, children, mothers, families, who love the fact that this is going on because they are the ones who face the effect. They are the ones who know what happens when we change our food. Four years I've realized that all the problems in my body is because of chemicals. I cut all food bought locally at stores that are provided for us by our government and now I make sure that it's either grown by me or someone that I know to make sure that I don't get rashes like this because of chemicals. And the only time that I get rashes is when I eat food that's out of a package. Yeah, the, bo so the body it. knows, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm no scientist, I'm no doctor, but I just do what feels right, and it feels right to eat good food. I don't want chemicals in my food. Say no GMOs. Say no GMOs. Say no GMOs. This is about changing our patterns, changing our ways. No longer giving excuses through apathy, but rather having the will and having the courage to make those differences, to encourage that change, to create the ripples that will make the wave. I have started a program through the, the Thames Valley School Board teaching organic gardening in schools. Thank you, thank you. This is something that we are all going to have to work at if we want it to spread. To contact schools in your neighborhoods, get them talking about this, and let's get more gardens in schools. Change is happening, but we need to focus on education. Education for children. Kids need to be educated properly about this. So let's pool our resources together and, and get talking. Let's all connect and, and just make it happen. Yeah, well, one garden at a time. Change the world one garden at a time. We, we really can do it. It's, it's small groups of people that have always made major changes in the world. What happens here today is ultimately about community networking. It's about in inviting new people to come and find out what this is all about by strengthening the numbers in the grassroots local um, campaigns that can happen and increasing awareness. Ultimately, we're, you know, we're working towards getting to a place where we can actually present a strong enough number to turn these things around, and I think that's happening. I'm really, really hopeful that we're getting there, and I think that actions such as this just increase those drops in the bucket, and we'll get there. We'll get a full bucket. Yeah, it starts with the individual. Exactly, exactly. That's awesome. You guys rock. <laughs> you rock too, man. When I say paradigm, you say shift. Paradigm, shift. Paradigm, shift. Cool. <laughs> the message here may be loud, but the message here is love. Do not forget that. Do not underestimate that. That love is the answer. Love is the power for us to all become social alchemists to make that change. <sighs> Rebirthing Babylon from within. It happens through rallies like this, but it continues through our individual actions that we make every single day. You are changing the world. So remember, the story continues with you. Tell your friends, educate yourself, make choices, support local farmers, do the things that are right for you. And in turn, you'll do the things that are right for the world. This is Skull Babylon, rebirth from within. The change is us, the change is now. The story is real. One love. I'll see you in the future.